Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today there is so much miraculous news that it's just all gonna blow your mind. Now, a little bit of backstory, there was actually an event in Brazil that just kind of occurred just a little bit ago, it was like half an hour ago, I think, of the time of this recording, and there was so much stuff, it's almost so much that I can't cover it all in this video, but I will find a way to cover it all in this video, and the best way to do that is by me just going through all everything that we learn, and then going back, making new videos in the future, like within the next couple days, talking about each specific part in depth. Because obviously I can't sit here and talk about this one thing for half an hour, and then still have like everything else, because we learned a lot. I mean a lot about the future and just season 3 and just everything about Miraculous. And this show is getting so good. I, I've been saying like this show is going to be so great. It's just we got to get past season 1 and season 2 already showed improvement. And season 3 is going to be so much better and ah, there's just so many reasons why. And I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting, but let's dive into this. I'm going to be going kind of in chronological order a little bit. I'm going to be starting out with the new transformations, which I feel like everyone's excited about and kind of talking about everything in here. And then I'll move on to like the Q&A that happened towards the end of the panel, I believe. I haven't actually seen it. And since it's in Brazil, I don't think it's going to be in English. I don't actually know. But we do have tweets and things like that to go off of. So we do have a way of knowing kind of what was answered and things like that. Now before I get into this, let me just say that Miraculous World Network is a great Twitter account for all Miraculous news. And I follow them to get all of the news because they post it really close to when we hear about it. So this is how I found out about everything that was going on. But they said in a tweet, Jeremy has revealed big spoilers of new transformations in Season 3. Look at your own risk. Now, obviously, these are all spoilers. I didn't even say it at the beginning of the video. Spoiler warning for Season 3 and beyond. I'll have to, like, just make an edit. Just kind of, like, spoiler warning. Or maybe this is fine. I don't know. This video is going to be a little bit less professional just because I have so much to get through and excitingness and things like that. But according from this tweet, this stuff is all from Season 3. Which, when we move on later to the Q&A, we don't exactly know when these things are. Like, it could be from Season 4 or 5, and just, it, it's very hard to pinpoint the time frames, but supposedly for this, this is all Season 3 stuff. Now, don't quote me on that, because I don't exactly know if that's true or not, but that's the best we have to go off of. And if this is true, that all of this stuff is from Season 3, or at least the new transformation stuff, we are in for a huge season. So this first image here, you may look at it and see, okay, so we have a couple new things and then a couple old things, or so it looks like, but here's the interesting thing. The old things that you may think are old, like Rena Rouge and Queen Bee, those are actually the aquatic forms of those heroes. Now, it's very hard to tell, but you can tell a little bit. The quality on this image is really bad. We don't have a better image, or I haven't been able to find a better image. But you can see that there's a little bit of flippers and just everything's a little bit... It looks very similar to Ladybug and Cat Noir's aquatic transformation. So that's how I was able to come to the conclusion that this is their aquatic form. Now just to the right of that, you guys may be like, wait, what's going on with that? But here's the thing. This transformation is the Mouse Miraculous. Now the one directly to the left is just the Mouse Miraculous on its own. But the one on the right, you may see, is a little bit different. It looks almost identical, but it's not almost identical. There is some differences. And you may say, oh, hey, it's probably just a different mock-up, which could be true. And I feel like there are some different mock-up versions in here. But here's my guess. My guess is that the second Mouse Miraculous is actually a Ladybug and Mouse Miraculous because... It has been confirmed that you can mash together Miraculouses, which is really exciting because this show, it's just, it has so much potential and I feel like that the creators of the show are really going to use these things to their fullest potential, which is very rare to find in a show I've found. So to see that you can use two Miraculouses at the same time, like just say, hey, Tiki Spot's on, and then after that, you can transform into the mouse one and it'll create a all new superhero that has the powers of Ladybug and the Mouse Miraculous, which is super cool. And we'll see this later in more slides. 
Now we get a little image of the mouse miraculous and we also get to see that this is like a charm and my guess is that this is the mouse miraculous. We haven't actually had confirmed or I haven't heard of it being confirmed yet, but my it looks most similar to the mouse miraculous so that's just what I'm going with. But that's pretty much all we got from there. And next moving to the right a little bit more, we can see Nino or Carabase. Not only that, we also see Master Fu. And this first image, I believe, is just seeing the height difference between the two and just kind of like showing that they share the same miraculous. But to the right of that, we can see something different. To the right of it, we see different shield variations. And then to the right of that, we see Master Fu when he's transformed. Now, if this season three transformation thing is actually true, that probably means that we will see Master Fu transform in this season, which is really cool. And we could see that he looks really amazing in his transformation. And this also confirms that the heroes have different appearances based on like their personality and who they are. So Master Fu's shield, it's actually a hat, not just a shield. And like Carapaces, it's like a turtle shell. So we can see that the Miraculous costumes can adapt based on who owns the Miraculous. And we can see that Master Food is called Jade Turtle, which is really cool. So moving on to the second panel, in my opinion, this panel is the most interesting. Now this panel, just starting on the very left, even though I really badly want to get to the right, starting on the very left, we see weapons or what looks like to be swords. We have a red, a gray, a blue, and a yellow sword. And then to the right of that, we have little coin looking objects. Now, I have no idea what these coin looking objects are. They're probably something to do with ancient Chinese history and things like that. So if any of you guys are educated in that sort of field, then feel free to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. We can actually see that there's a little spot on the handle of the sword that looks oddly familiar. If you take a look, you really have to zoom in a little bit or maybe zoom out depending on kind of how your eyes work but you can see that we see the very top one of those coin things on the red sword and then same with the gray one we see one of the little emblem coin things on the gray sword and same with the blue sword and same with the yellow sword now this means that these two are connected in some way I don't exactly know how or what their abilities are my guess was, or my first opinion on them, was that you can kind of see that those emblems on the coins, they look like Miraculous is spiraling. And if you noticed from the intro of Season 1 and 2, we can see Miraculous is spiraling into the box, and that's just what it immediately first reminded me of. So what if this sword uses the power of the Miraculous? Which, I don't think that's true, but that was just what it first reminded me of. And like I said, we don't know anything about this at all. We're just here to speculate and things like that. And I might make a whole separate video on speculating just on these swords and what everything is. And that's super cool. So it's looking like we will have a future sword or a future true weapon, like not only the Miraculous weapon, but also a full other weapon for Miraculous holders to use. Now my question is, are there actually four separate swords or do they extend based on what kind of coin is in them? Because if each coin determines what kind of sword it is, which I think makes the most sense to me, that could mean that there's only one sword, which could mean certain things like maybe like who gets the sword during a battle and etc. Now moving on to the right a little bit, we can actually see the red sword in action, which probably means that Ladybug will be getting this sword. Now, this Ladybug costume looks really weird, and here's why. This costume is of the Dragon Miraculous, but not only the Dragon Miraculous, it's also of the Ladybug Miraculous. This is the Dragon Bug. Of course, this is all speculation, I can't confirm this, but I'm assuming that it's the Dragon Miraculous and the Ladybug Miraculous just based on the Dragon Bug title, and that's kind of what it looks like. You can see the mask, it kind of looks like a dragon, kind of? But that's what my guess is. And we can see there's two different variations. If you were wondering what the difference was, one of them is holding a sword and one of them is not. That's the big difference there. But this confirms that we will see Marinette in the dragon form. Or at least in the dragon and then <laughs> the ladybug form. And then also previously we see that she will transform into the mouse miraculous. Which just, it, th this means so much stuff for this show. 
Now moving to the right, the last little bit on this slide is a transformation swap between Marinette and Adrian. This is something that you see in fan art. This isn't like anything you've ever seen before. I guarantee you most shows aren't going to like put something in here that the fans want to see like this badly because I, like if you guys saw that tweet that I mentioned at the very beginning of this, it was from season three. Now, I don't know if this is just concept and it's just like, haha, look at what we made. It, it it makes it seem like that this is actually going to occur in the show and Adrian is going to have a ladybug outfit. Now, I don't know if this is going to be true or not, but here's the thing. It's going to be really hard for Adrian to get his hands on Tiki and same with Marinette with Plague. It's just like without revealing their identities, unless if it's all organized by like Master Fu and things like that. So there's a good possibility that we will be seeing the transformation like kind of reveal in season three, which is my newest prediction kind of like halfway through season three or somewhere in between season three. I have a feeling that we will be getting a reveal, especially with how much is going on. And then part of me is like, no, we're not going to be getting a reveal, but we'll have to see how it goes. But right now, just from that, it makes me lean a little bit more towards the reveal. But knowing the Miraculous crew, they will find a way to make it just happen on an accident. If it even happens. Because this may all just this is all just concept at the moment. And we don't have like confirmed episodes that is going to happen like this certain episode. So we don't even know if this is actually going to happen. But it would be super interesting to see Ladybug and Cat Noir have a costume swap. I think that would I think we can all agree on that. And then we also see a leg and then what looks like a foot. I don't exactly know what this means. Maybe the leg is just showing the leg because maybe the tail's in the way or something. I don't exactly know, but the foot is maybe just to show the bottom of the foot and how there's a little thing on there. I don't exactly know why that was there. Again, I wasn't there. I don't speak Brazilian and just I, I, I can't do much other than just hear what other people have to say about it. So I'm all ears for the comments. You guys, if you guys have any theories or anything like you'd like to put, go ahead and list them there. I will read them. Now, moving on to the third panel, we can see Cat Noir and what looks to be something like something out of a sci fi movie. But we can see that this is actually the Snake Miraculous. Now, this slide is very mysterious because at the very right, I know I'm kind of going out of order here, but we can see Snake Noir, which confirms that we will be seeing Cat Noir have the Cat Noir costume as well as the Snake, which is really cool. But that begs the question, what's on the left? Are those just like that we can obviously just see the Cat Noir, but is that also just the plain snake? Because that's kind of what it looks like. But then if that's just a plain snake, what's on the right next to it? And you can see that there are some costume variations there. I don't have a good answer for you guys. I I really I want a good answer. I just don't think I can give it very well. My guess is, is that the one right next to the right of Cat Noir is just the plain suit of that. And then the one to the right of that is maybe a different variation of it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. I don't really know what to make of this. And then going back to the right image a little bit, we can see that there's actually a little blurry kind of blob on the very right. Now you may be wondering what that is, but out of process of elimination and just using common knowledge, I was able to determine that that was a bracelet that the Miraculous wears. And that is actually their Miraculous thing. You know, Cat Noir has the ring, and we can see the ring over to the left a little bit, and we can see that that is on his right arm, and then on his left arm he has the bracelet of the snake miraculous which is really cool and then another cool thing is that the snake miraculous has a harp as a weapon or maybe this is the cat noir and snake weapon i don't exactly know but my guess would be that this is just the snake because it's shown in all everyone that has the snake in it so it's looking like the snake has a heart which kind of makes sense if you think about it just because sometimes snakes are made to like hypnotize people and then you can use like a flute to control a snake kind of i don't know if that makes any sense or if i have any of that right but that was just my first initial thought on why it's a harp or it, it might not even be a harp at all i don't exactly know so that's all with the panels we already know a lot 
Now, let's go ahead and talk about the questions that were asked after this was kind of talked about, I think. I don't exactly know how it went, but let's just move on to the Q&A. So the first question was, will we see Marinette with loose hair? And then Jeremy Zag said, yes, and with a pretty dress. Now, Thomas Ostruct has actually confirmed that in Season 3, we will have a huge Adrianette moment, which immediately made me think like oh they're going on a date and this is kind of where i think this will play in marinette's hair will be loose and just kind of things like that and it will be super interesting to see and that's pretty good the next question was will all kwamis be handed out and then the answer was there's dozens of kwamis we will explain where they all come from and that's all we kind of learned from that which is it leaves a lot of mystery and that's good, but then it's also like, well, we're left with so much mystery just from this night, and it's kind of crazy to go through it all and just kind of determine what's good and what's amazing, I guess. The next question was, will there be characters from other countries? And then the answer was, yes, from China, USA, specifically New York, and I'm assuming that there are more. Because it was also confirmed that there will be a special character from Rio and there will be like a special episode all from Rio because Miraculous has had huge success in Brazil on Gloobs and that's just really amazing for them so they're being rewarded with their own special episode but that'll be in a while. The next question was will Ladybug travel to other countries and then the answer was yes since danger will be greater which is interesting now you have to keep in mind this was translated so that means that the translation kind of could have had a little bit of errors, so that's why it doesn't sound perfect. But this just means that there will be greater danger in other countries and things like that. So Ladybug and Cat Noir and maybe some other people will have to go out and then fight that danger. And just kind of, that's how it's going. Now we did already know previously that Ladybug and Cat Noir would be going to other countries and doing that. We just didn't know when or anything like that. And we still don't exactly know when. Now another thing that was confirmed, I guess this one wasn't really a question, Jeremy Zag confirmed that we will see Adrian and Marinette aged up, which is super incredible because one of the things that I love the most is seeing characters evolve. That's one of my favorite things, and especially when it's like a, like interweaved with a love plot, that would just be the best. So. It is awesome to see that we will see Marinette and Adrian aged up. Now, we don't exactly know the time frame of this or when we will see it. Like, this could just be like a one special episode at the very end of the season, kind of like what Phineas and Ferb did, which I would prefer to see this show kind of progress. Like, instead of them staying in 10th grade forever, it would be nice to see if halfway through season 3, they moved up to 11th grade and then 12th grade and then etc. So that's super cool that we have that confirmed. Now the next question is, will Ladybug travel to different countries to collect Miraculouses? Now you may be like, well, we already know that they're going to different countries. Why do people keep asking this one? This one is actually very important. This one is the best country related one that we've seen is because she's going out to collect Miraculouses, meaning that there are other Miraculous spread throughout the world. Now the answer to this was yes, and she will save those places too. So this probably means that these places are in danger and then Marinette gains something like a new Miraculous from that, which is super cool. And I also believe that there is another question or something related to this where we talk about even more Miraculous spread throughout the world. Now the next question was, will we see Marinette use other powers? And then the answer was yes, since she will be able to use those powers of other Miraculouses. Which kind of goes back to confirming that, hey, Marinette's gonna be getting the Mouse Miraculous and then we also saw the Dragon Miraculous. She's going to be doing some really cool stuff, which I never expected we would actually see, but oh, that's super cool. Now, the next question was, will Hawk Moth have new powers? And then the answer was, he will be able to akumatize objects, big objects, which this is getting a little bit on the far-fetched side. I don't exactly know how Hawk Moth's powers work, but how is he able to akumatize an object and control an object? This is a little bit beyond me. And maybe with the power of Mayura, he's able to, but I don't exactly know how this is going to play. And this is just kind of like a wild one. Like, he's able to akumatize objects, which could be really dangerous or maybe not. I don't exactly know. Again, this is kind of weird. 
Now, this is the follow-up question I was talking about, about the other, like, country thing. It says, different miraculouses exist all over the world, so there are other heroes as well. So, pretty much this means that, like, let's just say for America, for example, there are already heroes that we don't know about that are already saving the world, or saving America. Which means that there are other miraculouses spread all throughout the world. Which is super interesting because we haven't heard anything about these. Now this could be interpreted wrong or something like that. But this is like really cool if it becomes true. Because that means that there are heroes in America and Canada and Mexico and etc. Like Europe and things like that. That we just are now learning about. And obviously we're the, the show is going to mainly stay in France I would think. But it would be super cool to see them have a big, like, world tour, you could say. That's just, I don't know, I, th I think that would be pretty cool. Now, this next question was, will Hawkmoth confess that he's doing all of this to save Emily? And then the response was, no spoiler, which means that something is bigger. I mean, this is kind of like a spoiler thing, so it makes sense, because this is just the confession of Hawkmoth. So it makes sense that they didn't answer this, but this was an interesting question. And the next question was, was Gabriel always strict, even before Emily disappears? And the answer to this is, you will see in the animated movie, which I will be talking about here in a minute. Now the last question is, you always defended Chloe, but what about Lila? And then the answer was, in the background, no one is evil, and we will give the answer both to Chloe as to Lila. Which is interesting, pretty much this is saying like the Miraculous team has always defended Chloe, as in like Chloe's always made a comeback and things like this. And then the question's kind of like, what about Lila? And then the pretty much the Miraculous team is saying, well, no one is evil, everyone has an intention for doing what they do. And they said that they will answer that for Chloe and Lila in the future. So that's interesting. Now the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the live action movie or so it was so you guys may have heard about the live action movie that everyone was getting excited for but here's the thing the live action movie was cancelled but it's for a good reason they decided to turn that live action movie and turn it into a musical which i know the live action movie was originally going to be a musical i'm just kidding that's not what they turned it into the live action movie turned into an animated movie. So this is going to be just like a movie of Miraculous, which is going to be, it's just going to look the same as Miraculous. It's just going to be an animated one and with a lot of music in it. Jeremy Zag actually said that it would be Frozen, you know, like the Disney movie, as in it has a lot of like singing and dancing and things like that. So this is just kind of like the Frozen equivalent of Miraculous. Now here's the thing. This article talked about how this movie would, was planned to be released in 2021. And if you ask me, it's probably going to be pushed back probably by a year in my opinion. But supposedly it was a mix between the origin of the universe as well as the ending to season 5. Which means that we still got a little while to go because we got season 3, season 4, and season 5. And if the Miraculous team really plans on getting out three seasons in two years, that's going to be a lot of content, which I wouldn't be surprised if they are aiming for it, but the odds of them actually producing that much content in that short amount of time is a little bit on the sketchy side, so my guess is, is that that 2021 date will be pushed back a little bit. But there is a lot of stuff that's coming in this new movie, which... Because, I mean, it's to be expected, it's the ending of Season 5, which could be, this could be the last thing of Miraculous we ever see. Because we haven't had a Season 6 confirmed yet, it's only gone up to Season 5. But we've talked about how they're like, oh, this will be confirmed in the movie, and this will be confirmed in the movie. And the movie is supposed to be, it, it's kind of talking about, like, the origin. So this just means that there's going to be a lot of lore in Miraculous, and... I keep telling you guys, people who are like, oh, Miraculous is not good because it has no plot, it's getting there. Miraculous is going to have so much lore and so much plot, nobody's going to be able to handle it because it's so great. Which is a good sign for Miraculous as far as the viewers go, because we all know that Miraculous has been doing extremely well in the charts all around the world. So here's a photo of the film. This is just like the first, you know, image from it. Which, of course, is Cat Noir giving a rose to Ladybug, and she's like, no, I'm not accepting it or anything. But it looks like Ladybug is smiling, so that has some high hopes for the future. Now, it is important to note that the priority of this film is set 
after Season 4 and 5. It is more of a priority for the team to get out Season 4 and 5 than it is for them to get out this movie. And that's because this movie contains stuff that we see in Season 4 and 5. So to just watch the movie beforehand would be like spoilers for the upcoming season. So that's why we will be waiting a while for this movie. And I mean, it's going to be a while, but we can still anticipate and I'm sure we will hear more and more as that time comes around over the next two years, which is a while it sounds like. Now I know this video was super long and I got through everything that I wanted to talk about on the basic level of understanding, you know, there are still some deeper level understanding things that I'd like to go into more in depth and especially as we learn more about them and as I hear better theories and things like that, but I just wanted to get the news out here so that you guys knew what it was and had access to it. So I will be thinking about it and analyzing it and creating theories and talking with other people about it. So there will be a lot to come in the future as far as miraculous related content on this channel. But I think that's going to wrap it up. This I don't, I don't know how long this video is going to end up really being based on how long I've been talking here. But it's going to be a long video. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Ladybug's the liar.